So you wanna learn how to make your own living soil, but you don't have a compost farm, or hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of soil mixing equipment. So what do you do? That's the wrong thing to do, and I'm gonna tell you why. Most soil recipes you'll find online have not been soil tested. And if they have been soil tested, the inputs used to make that soil recipe originally will vary from your local inputs. So the correct way to make your own living soil mix is to start with a base. We have our base recipe here. I put it down in the description. You can use it with local inputs you have available to you and make your base and then send that in for a soil test and only add exactly what you need from your local ingredients you used to make your living soil mix. So let's go over the ingredients we use in our base mix that's down in the description. This will be a peat-based mix, and this mix that we have in the description will make you th roughly 30 gallons of soil. So you'll have peat, rice holes for aeration, pumice for aeration. We do have biochar, it's chunky. This is optional. If you don't have it available, don't pay the money to ship it in. And then we have our compost, which is the life in the living soil. So you're gonna wanna spread out a tarp on the ground. You're gonna need a shovel, and you're gonna need a little bit of manpower. Then we're gonna pile all of our ingredients into a pile and mix them with a the shovel. Cool. We've got our compost down first. And then our chunky biochar. Now the pumice. And our rice holes. And then last but not least, the two buckets of peat. And if you follow this recipe, again, you should have roughly 30 gallons of soil. Now you're just gonna take your shovel and mix until it is completely homogenous throughout. Now that we have the base completely mixed up, the only amendment we will add before we soil test is oyster shell flour, which will help with buffering the pH. So now that you have your living soil base completely mixed, you're gonna take a sample, you're gonna send it to us, we're gonna get lab results, and we will send you back a free recommendation, and you're going to amend your base soil off our recommendations. So if you followed all the steps in this video, you should have roughly 30 gallons of your own living soil mix for a fraction of the cost that it would have been for you to ship it from a company like us.